How to make Facebook video ads using Canva. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you step by step how to create video ads in Canva for free. First thing you want to do is go onto canva.com. Then you are going to sign up using your email address and get started for completely free. The next thing you are going to do right below the search bar, I want you to select videos. After selecting videos from here, you are going to tap on Facebook video. After selecting Facebook video, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, we'll be provided with a blank template on which we are going to be using to create our Facebook video ads. And you can see below it, this is our timeline. At the moment, you can see that our video timeline is set at 5 seconds. And the next thing you can also do at the bottom, you'll see 32% zoom. This you can adjust if you would like to zoom in on the video on our timeline. And also, if you would like to change the color, you can do that from the color box right here. If you would like to change the background color. The first thing I would recommend you do though, once on the blank canvas, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you are going to select design. Then in the search bar, you could type in Facebook video templates. So let's type in Facebook video templates. Enter. After you have selected enter, from here you will see different templates that we can choose from. So you will simply scroll down. And by the way, any one of the templates that you will see with the crown that says pro, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But don't worry, with Canva there are numerous free templates that you can use. All you will have to do is scroll down and see and you'll obviously are more than likely find one that you will like. So let's say for example, I want to use this particular one right here. All you'll have to do is tap on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you can see that this has three pages. So we are going to tap on apply all three pages. After you have done that, you can see it right here, how it looks. So at the moment, you can see that our timeline has gone up to 25 seconds. So our current video is now 25 seconds. And if we were to tap on play, you can see how the Facebook video ad looks at the moment. So if we to start our editing, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to select the first page right here. After tapping on the first page, if you would like to change the text, all you'll have to do is tap on the text box. Then let's say for example, you want to add your shop name. So I could simply edit this by simply typing in simple answers. So let's say my flower shop name is simple answers. I know that's not a good flower shop name, but just work with me. And also if you would like to change the font style, you can see the font option right where you see tan pearl on my page. You could tap on that and from here you can scroll down and you could select any one of these font style that is there liking. You could tap on it and also if you would like to change the size of the font right where you see 64 on my page, you could tap on that to change the size. You could also tap on the capital A to change the text color. Also, if you would like to change the alignment of the text, you can tap right there to change the alignment if you want. As you can see there and another thing that you can also do if you would like to add effects you could tap on effects from the top menu option and let's say for example you want to add a shadow you could tap on shadow as you can see right there then you can decide how much of a shadow you want and you can also adjust the blur by sliding along right here so you can select the direction of the shadow as you can see right here by using the timeline and you can select the color of the shadow that you want. So let's say instead of a black shadow, I want my text to have, let me see, a blue shadow. I could tap on blue. Then after tapping on blue, if I were to go back, so let me see, tap on a dark blue. My text will now have a dark blue shadow. So by simply going along with the direction, 
you can see the shadow right there with each slider of the slider right there with me pulling the slider and that's it and you can also add animations to your text if you want so you could get the text to move and all of those stuff if you want another thing that you can also do if you would like to change the image you can all you'll have to do is tap to select the text the entire canvas after you have selected the entire canvas let's say we want to change the background color you could tap on the color box right here then instead of it being pink if you wanted it to be white or you wanted it to be any particular color you could tap on that as you can see right there but I don't think that looks good so leave it as is also if you would like to change the image you can change the image so you could tap on the current image, then you would right click and you are going to see the option detach image from background. And you can see right there, then you will tap on delete. And from here, you could go over to the left hand menu option and you could select elements and let us type in flowers and see what type of images Canva recommends. And by the way, you can also upload images onto Canva by simply tapping on Uploads. And you can see right here, this photo, I want to use this photo. So all I'll have to do is tap and drag and place it and you can see it right there. And also, if you would like to add another element, you can. So let's say I want to add this flower right here and I want to do that. All I'll have to do is go on to Elements. But before adding that flower, I would like to add a grid. So I'm going to type in grid. Then I'll tap on enter and you can see the different grids right here. So you can tap on that. And from here, let's say I want a circle grid. Let me type in that. Or better yet, a circle frame better yet. So let me type in circle frame. Then tap on enter. After selecting circle frame, I'll simply tap and drag it right here. After I've added the frame, let me minimize it. Then I'm going to go back over to elements. And once in elements again, I'm going to type in flower. And then from here, I'm going to select this particular flower. So I'll simply tap and place it right there. You can see right there how it looks. And it looks beautiful. And also, if you would like to, for example, have a image sliding across. So let's say I want to add a bees flying across. You can. All I'll do is clear flowers right here. Then I'll type in bees. I'm going to show you how to do this. And let's say, for example, I want this bee. Let me see which one of these bees I would like. Um, let's say, for example, this bee right here. All I'll do is simply tap on the bee. After selecting the B, I'm going to change the size. So let's decrease the size at the moment as it's too big. So let's say I want it to be small like this. And I want the bees to fly across the video. So I want them to fly from the top right here. Let me do that. So let me select the bees box. After you have selected the bee box, you are going to tap on animate from the top. Then you are going to tap on create an animation. After you have selected create an animation, you are going to simply hold on to the B. Then you will draw along the line that you would like it to move. As you can see right there. Then all you will do is tap on done. After you have tapped on done, if I were to play it right now, you can see how it looks right there. That is just one more thing that you can also do. And you can tap on the other page to start editing. So from here, you could change the text and you could add your percentage right there. And if you would like to change the pic, you can also change the pic or the video by tapping on it. And after tapping on the video, you could select the three dots right there. If you would like to remove it, you could tap, for example, tap on it. Then after tapping on it, you are going to right click. Let me show you how you'd be able to remove it. So you would tap on the particular video, then you're going to right click and from here you could select detach video, then you'll be able to add your own video. And also on the sixth page right here, on the page that says six second, 
you can edit this text and you'll be able to add your own URL if you want. Once it is finished and to your liking, all you'll have to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to select share. Then you'll quickly scroll down and you'll tap on download. After selecting download, all you'll do now is tap on download to download the video. And that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.